Hello again, chaps and chapettes. How are we all doing? It is lovely to see you all again. As always, about a week or so ago, guys, I put out a video about a certain video game that's going to be released, um, well, in the next few days now. But at that time, it was about, about two or three weeks away, and I stipulated how woke and um, how badly this game is going to actually end up selling. Well, it seems my early predictions have been blown out of the water because it's going to be much worse than I initially thought. Now, initially, I just told you about the character creation screen, how you could choose your pronouns and your sexuality and put top surgery scars on your character, that kind of a thing. And they also explained that Dragon Age games as a whole did tend to be quite woke all the way through their series. You know, having gay and lesbian characters in there, you can sleep with whoever you want, that kind of a thing. And I said to you, yes, I could look past that just about because the story and the writing and the characters always outweighed uh, the bullshit that they put in there. It was a great game. You actually enjoyed playing it. But this has gone way Beyond. Now, like I say, initially I did just point out the character creation screen and me being very foolish and very naive. I just thought, yeah, it'd end there. A little bit of bullshit at the start and then the game really gets going. But that appears to be not the case whatsoever. I'm going to give you just a couple of examples of what I found on X. Uh, about this, basically. It's, it's in the dialogue. It's in the story. It's everywhere you look. They are push, push, pushing DEI to the absolute hilt. So, first and foremost, there is a screenshot here. Uh, I'm going to put my glasses on because I can't read the fucking thing. And it reads here, this is a conversation between some characters within the game. Someone called Tash is saying, non-binary, I just said, and I'm going to use they instead of she from now on. Now, bear it in mind, this is a medieval RPG role-playing game full of magic, alchemy, uh, strange monsters, fighting monsters, that kind of thing. It's a fantasy game. You don't expect to see 2024 DEI and um, identity politics inserted into a game that's supposed to be medieval and fantasy, would you? And there's another one here, another example, another conversation between the characters in-game, and it reads here from someone called Rook. They say, take a long, hard look in it, kid. It'll show the face of a hero who can get it done. Now, you've got some options here as how to answer. You've got, I'm getting there. You've got, I love who I am. You've also got uh, back on, ignore that, that's just another option. You've also got, it feels good to see the real me. And the top one, the top one that, that unlocks um, extra dialogue for your characters in the future, basically prompting you to choose this option, reads, establishes transgender identity and unlocks new dialogue options in the future conversations. <sighs> I shouldn't get so angry at stuff like this. This is the whole point. I think this is why they do it. But it does make my piss boil. Particularly, I've been gaming for over 30 years now. And it's just getting progressively worse and worse and worse. And the last one here, last example. There's uh, someone called Neve having a conversation, a character within the game. And it reads, some of my friends in Minthriosa talk about not feeling comfortable in their own skin as a man and as a woman. Now... I cannot stress this enough, guys. This is a fantasy RPG. It's an escapism for people who like playing video games. It's a way to escape the reality and the fucked up world that we actually live in. But now it's being inserted into these fantasy RPGs as a reality. And people don't want that. EA, who make this game, are expecting people to pay almost £70 for the pleasure of playing this horse shit. There was a certain YouTuber, a, a young Spanish girl, who reviews uh, video games, and she did their review today. Well, kind of a review, more of a um, picking it apart kind of um, blog post. And she said to EA, because they give out codes to reviewers so they get to play their game early so they can review it, and basically EA and BioWare, the people who make the game, are not giving out codes. They give out codes to these reviewers so they can play the game. They're not giving out these codes to people who have been overly critical about the woke bullshit that's been inserted into this game. So this young Spanish girl said to EA and said to BioWare to get a code that she was non-binary, and they obviously kissed her ass, something rotten, gave her a code, she played it, and ripped it to absolute shreds. These gaming companies have to realise that you cannot cater to a tiny percentage of the population to sell your games. 
game companies spend millions upon millions of pounds making these games, producing these games, getting writers and artists in and all the rest of it. So the investment that goes into these games, they expect a massive return. And it's been estimated that with only a couple of days to release, the pre-orders are just a 1000 copies now usually for a triple a game such as this a massive game that's got a massive following dragon age fan base is absolutely huge you'd expect millions of copies for pre-order and it's not happening i do hope this game absolutely bombs no one buys it i hope reviews across the board are completely negative and i want ea and bioware to lose so much money that certain ceos of certain companies are going to get the sack and people need to stop inserting their own political politics into games that they are charging the earth for particularly for a massive game such as this that has a massive following when you start catering to a tiny little minority of people you are not going to sell the games because a large majority of your fan base will not buy it if you insert bullshit into a game that they wish to immerse themselves in it's as simple as that i'm not going to be buying it i said this in my last video i am never going to play it i am not going to in trying to immerse myself into a game and have fun with something that's pushing identity politics and 2024 language into a world that i'm trying to escape from do you understand what I'm saying? It's it's an absolute disgrace. I can't believe this is even allowed to be sold. As I say, I don't want I want to see it absolutely bombed. I want to see reviews negative across the board. And yeah, I'll never play it. And I hope many other players won't pay it either. I mean, a thousand pre-order copies two days before release is an absolute shambles. I'm sorry to go on guys, I know these videos aren't my most popular ones, but I do have one or two gamers in my subscribers who may be interested in this, but yeah, that's basically Dragon Age Veilguard in a nutshell, it is horseshit. Thanks a lot for watching guys, please do let me know what you think in the comments, and I'll see you in a bit, cheers.